Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And I'm Justin. And we are getting getting good. Welcome back to the nightmare, fuckers. <laughs> Yay! It's Bloodborne time. It's Bloodborne time. This was uh, suggested by Gaming Done Properly, GDP on YouTube, said do, do the Bloodborne. Uh, Bloodborne is like Dark Souls with guns. Kind of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like Victorian Gothic mixed with Lovecraftian Dark Souls. Oh. But there are guns. There are guns, but they're not what you're really using. You use guns to parry. You don't use guns as like primary weapons for most of the game. All right. Well, uh, give me a boss. Okay. I want to draw Lovecraftian horror from the game that looks like Dark Souls with guns, but apparently isn't. Are you ready for your monster? No. Yes. Your monster's name is Mergo's Wet Nurse. <laughs> Mergo's Wet Nurse. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, goes uh, gosh. So we're off to a rip-roaring start. Yeah, I so, cannot wait. Again, this is a game um, none of us have played. Except for me. Except for Jacob. Mergo's Wet... Okay, so who's Mergo? I'll, I'll Apparently give you, some kind of baby. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of lore Okay. that will help you. Okay. Mergo's Wet Nurse mm-hmm. is a being that guards the source of the nightmare, Mergo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I feel like I have more questions now. Uh, from Mergo's wet nurse's name, we can conclude two things. Mm-hmm. It is female, and it is serving as a surrogate mother to Mergo, attempting to nourish the infant great one. <laughs> so she find this job on Craigslist, or how, how do you get a game like that? <laughs> it's a real high-profile babysitting <laughs> job. And the one uh, physical attribute that I'll start you off with, so you have some direction. Okay, great. Is that uh, Mergo's wet nurse has six skeletal arms. Oh, <laughs> I think I've seen this creature before. Six skeletal I think you arms. Would, you yeah. would know if you've seen Mergo's wet nurse. Uh, I don't know what it, I, I didn't know the name, but like I, all good babysitters, it has six skeletal yeah. arms. I was giving her sort of an upside down head. That's fine. Okay, as long as that's okay. I didn't tell you nothing about which side her head goes up or down. It looks like she's being a little sassy. Yeah. She's she's sort of like, Mergo, <laughs> were you? <laughs> she's crossing all six of her yeah. skeleton arms. <laughs> That's our Mergo. Yeah, she's, she's sort of annoyed. Nathan, I at some point want you to flip this over so we can see what that face looks like right side up. Um, maybe, maybe we're the may, ones that are upside Maybe down. I oh, should man. have started it right side up and then flipped it. You do, so, you're doing great. This is hard. This is hard and bad. <laughs> Just like Bloodborne. I want to start over. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to live with your decisions, oh, Okay. Nathan. All right. Okay. Either get good or die trying. Mm-hmm. So if she's got a bunch of skeletal arms, those are the skinny parts, which means like her main body is going to be all bloated and disgusting, right? Sure. And it's a lady in a game, so she's going to have some boobs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Only ladies in games have boobs. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Um, I think if she has six arms, maybe she has six boobs too. Oh, <laughs> like every good wet nurse. I think that makes sense. It's kind of like a six pack of boobs. Yeah, yeah. of muscular boobs. Boob pack, <laughs> just hard. Well, I boobs. guess if you're a surrogate mother, you know that's a lot of breastfeeding. You oh, can and do. she's a yeah. nurse, so I can give her. I can do the uh, the like Silent Hill cheat. And just give her one of these. Oh, there you go. You found the oh, cheat give code. Give her the nurse thing. Give her the nurse thing. But you already drew it. You already drew the face. But it was bad. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know that's, that's the face that's underneath there. Yeah. So okay. So she's got like the the little sick thing, and then um, I think <laughs> her her whole body is a sick thing. Yeah, <laughs> she is a, an incarnation of sick thing. <laughs> yeah, and I think some some lady. Oh, she's beautiful. She's... Oh, those nice eyes. She has kind eyes. Oh, no, she doesn't. <laughs> there <you> go! <laughs> Would you like me to give you another uh, another hint? Yes, please. This is um, this just now looks like a man with a beard and a bandana. Yeah. Why it's... did I do this to myself, guys? <laughs> Nathan, only you can answer that. I think maybe you're inside of the nightmare okay. right, right this very moment. Does she have ears? It doesn't... Unclear. But I can tell you what she does have. What's What's up with her head? And that's two black tattered wings. Tight. <laughs> so six skeletal arms, two black tattered wings. Yeah. And she's just like. And six monstrous titties. Yeah. <laughs> so Nathan's just redrawing my Charizard, right? I don't remember your Charizard having as many boobs. It's true. Did have a, some fat old wings, though. This does look like what your interpretation of a Charizard would somehow be. <laughs> 
So tattered wings? Yeah, black tattered wings. Okay, like an Evanescence go. cover. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's that's cool. a good tattered wing. Thank yeah, you. Those, no way those wings could have supported that body at no. any point. No, hell no. <laughs> Gotta give her those, those skeletal arms. I'm assuming wretched bony hands on the end of those skeletal arms. Wretched bony hands uh, clasping six curved swords. Okay. Like any good babysitter. <laughs> like her hands are full of swords. She's She's got her hands full, what with all the swords. Okay, so not, I imagine- Not a single hand is un, unaccounted for. I just imagine, yeah, the bones are just sort of like coming out of this like fleshy oh. mess that she is. And then curved swords. Yep. I this don't is, like. This is a mess of tangents and garbage. Well, <laughs> that's what you have to do when I'm slowly giving you more information that you have to work <laughs> into this. I assume the swords are also pretty wretched. It's safe to assume everything is wretched at okay. all times. It, good. Good to know. I'm going to give it like one of these. Oh, like a pommel? Yeah. Pommels are good. Protect your hands. Yeah, from protect, your, protect your <laughs> skeletal hands. <laughs> You're punching Marigo with your sword. <laughs> She's just sort of got like a tattered um, nurse's smock. Oh, it's horrifying. <laughs> Those nurse's smock. It's worse than being naked. I think she probably uh, has some like teeth. Probably. Here, here's what we're gonna got do. Got a lot of arms and swords. <laughs> I got. I, I do. I do. But first, yeah. Oh, here yeah. We go. So much to tackle. Oh, there okay. we go. Oh, boy. Now, 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 look at that brush effect. Is that blood coming from the inside or the outside? Exactly. Oh. So you got that going. Now I have to remember that's there if I ever decide to move the creature. I gotta tell you, Nathan, I don't love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so. Not my wet nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't vote for her. <laughs> no one votes for Marigo's wet nurse. That's her that's her campaign. She doesn't slogan. even get a name of her own. No, that's she's true. only just known as Marigo's wet nurse. Title. That's her whole her whole yeah, thing. She doesn't pass the Bechdel test. She really gets lost in her job and her career, you know. <laughs> oh, she needs to just find That's why she never had kids of her own. It's the start of a romantic comedy. Okay. She's like this high powered <laughs> businesswoman. Has, doesn't have any time for love until she meets <laughs> Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> we did we it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's the only one capable of, of taking a, a job-minded businesswoman and ruining her life. <laughs> so, hey, you just play it cool, man. <laughs> well, he's boyish, but he's also very sexy. Manish. Nathan, sure. I'm sorry I gave you six arms the six swords. It's you okay. Know, I'm just, I'm going to cheat it. I'm doing. Just make one real itty-bitty. Yeah, I didn't say they're all the same size. Oh, that's true. There is a lot. It could be a little cocktail sword. (laughs) (laughs) Like a little skewer thing. It goes in like a little drink. Yeah. Gonna fix these wings. Okay, here we go. This is a good draw. I need to stop so that uh, (laughs) so someone else can't. We gotta get six. Coming out of wherever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. (laughs) Uh huh. Perfect. Uh Here she comes. Six arms. <laughs> you say six arms. Here comes six arms. We got oh. six arms on this. Uh, we got six this, arms over here. Six arms coming up. Uh, order up. Six arms. Okay. We <laughs> six got six skeletal arms with six curved swords coming right up. <laughs> yeah, this is a little. One. Oh, I hate where they're this coming is, out. This is the small. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> oh, it's coming out of the breast. Oh, oh that's the worst yeah. bit. This one's a real little one. If you want to know a fun tidbit about this horrible creature. It's that it's also capable of creating a pocket dimension with multiple copies of itself and is able to teleport. Oh. Well, that explains all the copy pasting going on. Yeah, there we <laughs> go. Guys, I'm good at this game. I'm good at this challenge. Oh, um, I thought you were going to put it behind the boobs, but now you're just It's just coming, coming out, out of the boobs. Coming out. They're just coming out. She's a very bad wet nurse. Oh. <laughs> just the worst <laughs> that you could possibly imagine. Because a wet nurse means it was for when the mom didn't want to be- breastfeed, so the wet nurse did it for her. Is or, that or couldn't? Or couldn't? Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It uh, it seems like in the Bloodborne lore that uh, Marigo's wet nurse may have been more of a a forced wet nurse. Is like it wasn't the mom. The mom didn't want this. But okay, so it was forced upon the mother. Some powers beyond the mother's control conspired to uh, make this baby into a great one. Janet, you can't handle the nightmare baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking her away. We're taking her away. We're giving it to someone more more qualified. You don't have a, you don't have a single skeletal arm, Janet. Her name is literally Wet Nurse. <laughs> Man. Nathan, this is legitimately a cool drawing, though. Yeah, it's, it's come around. You know, copy-paste, thank goodness... Uh, I didn't have to draw a bunch of individual swords. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep adding like blood splotches. 
Um, I'm gonna show you, Nathan, if you're finished. Yeah, uh, I I'm so finished. Show me Mergo's oh wet nurse. This is Mergo's wet nurse. What? <laughs> So she doesn't really have a face, huh? No, it's in it's in a bunch of robes. The arms aren't really holding the swords, they just are swords. They, I think it looks like they kind of just become the swords. I see. And the swords curve down instead of up. Oh man. Wow. Didn't I, expect that. I got, That's Mirgo's wet nurse for you. I got it <laughs> yeah. I got it so wrong. You know? Surprisingly close though. You got to the be long honest. Neck. Yeah, you got the long neck. And like the wings and the arms, I'd say it's it's not that far off. And I, I to be fair, I didn't tell you that uh, you know she was wreathed in black cloth. Yeah, that would have made it easier. But or I wanted not. I wanted to get your take. God, what a wretched beast. Uh, Justin, let me get in do, on this. Do better job than I did. Let me do this now. Justin, your boss is called the Living <laughs> Failures. The Living <laughs> Failures, plural. Yeah, the Living Failures. The Living. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Which, uh, great, when I played, was playing the game the first time, I genuinely laughed out loud when I entered a boss room <laughs> and a big health bar appeared and it said the living failures. The living failures. It's like, good, oh, what are they going to fucking do? Excellent. So I'm going to start giving you some clues. You've already rocketed great, off. Great, great. Yeah, he's got a nice... Nosferatu you've, you've looking dra You've drawn base. a goblin. So here's a little bit of lore about the living failures. Due to their location in the Lumenwood Garden and proximity to the research hall, it's possible that these living failures are the result of the healing church's attempts to create a celestial emissary sure. through human experimentation <laughs> sure. with the old blood. Yeah, okay. Well, I was on the right track. Uh, they have a blue hue to their skin. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, <a> Nelson base. <laughs> and they are much... They are... Uh, Bigger than the celestial minions that you fight earlier in the game. Oh, oh, that's very helpful. So, Good. so they failed. They you. failed by being too big. They they Are were so trying to experiment on humans to make them like these aliens, and it didn't work. Okay, so they're the result of, so of, a, failed of a failed experiment. So wait, AKA so the, a Willie Nelson. <laughs> the celestial uh, emissary. What are they? Celestial. Yeah. What are those words that you said again? One more. One more time. All those what, words. One more you, again. Wait, that you just the, said. Uh, it was a, the healing church's attempts to create a celestial emissary. Emissary. Got it. Through human Great. experimentation with the old blood. Um, so there are celestial emissaries in the game, and, and this healing church wanted to try to recreate them from people. But celestial emissaries are bad in this game? Yeah, everything's bad. Maybe huh. you're the bad guy. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we're the real monsters. Maybe we're the real monsters. Justin, who's this man? <laughs> who's this other man? He's Who's one of the other failures. <laughs> Justin, can I tell you? Are you one just more? drawing caricatures of people that you went to high school with who you didn't like? I went to high school with a oh, yeah. lot His of celestial failures. Um, I'm gonna give you a, another little hint that you can add in, okay? It's important to note that the living failures, they resemble the celestial emissary. Great. Although their heads have melted into their bodies. Awesome. Of course. <laughs> and uh, they lack any facial features, which is too well, late for that. Um... <laughs> But head Just melting into body. Well, these, <laughs> no, these aren't. Those aren't faces. Those are their bodies. Clearly, that's what. Uh, yeah, no, these are just their bodies. They, yeah. they look like faces. <laughs> it's to trick you. You just straight up drew Willie Nelson yeah, without a I body. Know, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Willie Nelson isn't a failure. He's a country music legend. He's a legend. I didn't say that he was, well, but I think Justin is saying he is. This isn't Willie Nelson. Oh, this is someone tried to recreate Willie Nelson. This is yes. Wally Newelson. It's uh, a little bit of it that that I just find very funny is that they're all just like in this one room together. They're just hanging like, out. Whoever tried to make them was like, "Oh, we fucked up. Let's just stick them in this room." And then you <laughs> and then you come into this room and they weren't bothering anyone and you just murder them. Is that well? The, the issue is you got to go through that room to move on, and they're they're in the way. I mean, they're they, in there and they are failures. They are failures. They kind of deserve to die. They don't. They don't let you just like you can't just be like, "Hey, um, I'm just passing through." They, like most no. things, uh, just want to kill you on sight. What <laughs> the... Oh. There's a big guy. <laughs> There's a big guy in the back. That's, uh, that's just the underside of a nose yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, looking at? Yeah, okay. that is. And a, and a mouth, a real messed up mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, this face is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he says. <laughs> Why do I still live? <laughs> this is some Ren and Stimpy stuff going on right now. Yeah. This is insane. You've also you've left yourself a lot of room. Oh yeah. What, uh, <laughs> and we're gonna fill what, up all that. What's room your too. What's your pl Yeah, Justin. If there's one thing I know about when Justin's on the show, uh, he 
likes to fill up a page. Okay, so we got some just some blemishes. Some boils. That's definitely not what they're just want. getting progressively worse. The first one is just <laughs> is just sort of a sad old man. Maybe that was like sad their goblin. their latest attempt, and it, so they're getting closer. Yeah, okay, they're almost there. He was like, "Why? Why do I have to be with them? I'm hardly a failure compared to these guys. <laughs> my all of my facial features are in the right spot. I mean, you can't see where my mouth is, but I assume <laughs> it's underneath this mustache." Well, I guess we'll just have to wait here until some adventurer comes and kills us. <laughs> <laughs> is this a, was, is that a knobby knee? Okay. Is this a tree limb? What is this? It's like That's a, a gross... hand. Justin uh, saw that I had to draw skeletal arms in mine, <laughs> and so had to I show got, me up. I got super and, jealous. And draw better skeleton with actual bone structure. Are you going to like form these guys into one writhing mass? Oh, you know it. So whenever they make that, a new living failure, they bring it to the to the room with all the other failures, and they just mush it in to the mound. <laughs> yeah, they're very pliable. I regret going last today. Julia, I'm sure you'll make a nightmare the likes of which I mean, the world you, has never known. Have you known. looked at this? <laughs> I'm sort of looking at it the same way that the big head is looking, just sort of yeah, like, like oh, uh, oh. And this guy right here. What's this guy? What's this guy's story? This guy's supporting his favorite sports team. Oh, are you going to make a little sports joke? He's got a little flag. It's just team. <laughs> Go team. Go team. The second guy you drew is, he seems like he's having an okay time. He just yeah. has a nose on his cheek. <laughs> Besides that. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. He's got some, some hair. Honestly, okay. I think these guys just an eyeball up there, huh? need to be less hard on themselves. They're more disappointments than failures. Yeah. And the... And, as long as you you're know, better than you what, were yesterday. <laughs> life is what you make of it. He's got big sideburns, too. Oh, he sure does. Oh, <laughs> oh my bud, my little buddy. <laughs> All right, you guys can leave. I'm just going <laughs> to finish this. <laughs> they're, more, they're more of a puddle than anything. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got, Alex Mack. Yeah, a couple of pieces just uh, kind of like them, slop it off. One of them skin puddles. Watch out for the skin puddles, kids. Watch out for my skin puddles, kids. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you the, wouldn't want to touch it. That's the happy head. That's what he sounds like. Uh, Ooh, what you got whoopsies. going on over here, Justin? Whoopsies. That... You just got a normal man. Normal man over here. <laughs> oh, oh there's, there's more men. Oh, it's a net. <laughs> I thought it was a tree. <laughs> God, I was really <laughs> hoping there was no more men. <laughs> he's just hanging out on the side. But he's, he's swamp. Oh, okay. Swamp, he's swamp, like swamp, he's swamp, been swamp, like swamp. distancing himself. <laughs> like I'm not with them. <clears throat> God, I don't even know the lumps. I can't even follow like where it's <laughs> headed. <laughs> I don't even know what part of. They're the all face. just circles. I mean, <laughs> oh, it was a chin, guys. Oh, it was ch- a chin. Uh, okay, it was a chin and some lips. Oh. Oh, ooh, oh got a little little <laughs> side eye here. Oh, hello, friend. This one's a very pretty one. Oh, it's got like a judge judge hair. There yeah, are. Yeah, you uh, get you. Your mistake, Jacob, was was giving Justin something with plural uh, <laughs> of the name. So yeah. Justin's just sort of um, he's just pulling out his whole repertoire yeah. of uh, of silly faces. He's absolutely just free forming it. So I think we're done here. Yeah. Um, let's uh, let's shut down the computer and uh, how about we get a bite let's, to eat, let's guys? All, let's all think about what now. we did. I could use a drink. Justin, uh, when I show you living failures, you're going to realize just how much simpler you could have made it. Mm, but is that more fun? I think not. It, no, it's not more fun. And I'm also not done. Oh, so. yeah. Julie's, no, I'm done. Julie's let's see it. Okay. Up let's here. see. Are we done? Do you want to see okay. this? We're done. Please. Oh, boy. Okay. As it so. turns out, they're just horrible melted aliens. <laughs> Boy, they sure are. Oh, and they're in like a nice little field of sunflowers. Isn't that nice? They're in a garden and they just fail there constantly. <laughs> they I just think can't stop failing. If you pop that big dome on top of their head, this is what's yeah. inside. Yeah, can you, that's true. Can you pull up the ones you leave them all like doing the, the dancing in unison? Oh, this one. That's the one that he needs to see. Oh, I love Look them. Look at them failing so spectacularly. <laughs> all in unison together. I think the worst part about it is they all look the same, so it's clear that whoever was experimenting just kept <clears throat> making the same mistake over yeah. and over again <laughs> like, on I everyone. Swear to God, I swear I added so much more <laughs> sugar to this one. They keep just becoming the same melted alien every time, no matter what I do. Uh, Julia. Mm-hmm. It's your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the name and then I'm gonna give you part of a description so you know kind of what you're working with. Your boss is called The One Reborn. Okay. 
Uh, the One Reborn seems to be the final result of the experiments made in Yahar Ghul with the intention of ascending humankind to the status of Great Ones. It's a common problem in Bloodborne that people keep <laughs> trying to ascend to okay. humankind. And they were born from a ritual which used the bodies of the city's populace okay. to make this creature. Justin's drawing could probably also have worked for this, <laughs> and it would have been equally as, uh, as good. Um, so I'll, I'll give you more as you go. I see you've already got a, a face going yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. He's not happy. That's where you're going. I didn't ask to be reborn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on. Are we doing an experiment over here or what? <laughs> I literally just died and I was enjoying it. And now I'm reborn. And now what? I got to die again because some <laughs> guy wants to get some, some fat asshole, loots. Some asshole is going to come kill me. Does he have like a the South Park Canadian's mouth? Like it just, his no. jaw just unhinges. <laughs> I thought it was a little smile for a second, but no, no, he's not having it. You had mentioned that it's Victorian, so I'm trying to channel that Victorian... <laughs> Oh, kind yeah, of sure. art by making it real long. Oh, he's got a hat. He does have a little hat. Victorians never went anywhere without a little hat. Oh, so I far, forget. this guy looks not grotesque at all. He looks like a, a sad man in a hat. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, he's grotesque on the inside. Oh, I see. It's more of an emotional yeah. grotesque rate. Yeah, he's just a guy, he but just feels he knows disgusted with himself. He knows that he was made as the result of sacrificing an entire city's <laughs> populace. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Wait. You, oh, I don't like what's happening here. Oh, no. I really don't like this. Hey, why the hey. long face and also why the wide face? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why the half face? <laughs> why the half face? Why the split my face, my friend? God, with just one motion, Julia turned it from normal <laughs> to like... A, a true horror. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> it's so very good. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, yeah, yeah. he just cracks right open. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. so stoic about it. I'm so sick of these emotionally unavailable guys. Just like, show me what's going on inside, you yeah. know? Open yourself up. Open if yourself you up to. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a guy who gets it. <laughs> Julia. Julia. She's got a bunch of eyeballs in there. Would More help, eyes to the good help God. if I told you uh-huh. that this creature is is an amalgamate of grotesque, misshapen body parts oh, assembled good. to form <gasps> one, oh, good. You, one. You have given me a gift this one day. One massive, unliving creature. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> That's what Justin drew. Hey, now hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Julia. Julia's. <laughs> Julia was so sad before, and now no, she's I was just got, tired. Purpose, yeah. But now I've been given I've, new life. I've, I've lit a fire in Julia's mm-hmm. soul. I do like that the um, the head split the hat perfectly as well. It's not like the head was split <laughs> yeah. and then he put the hat no, on. No, it's part of him. So Jacob, Boy. yeah. In in your opinion, how does Bloodborne stack up against uh, the Dark Souls games? Like wh- which it's... which is more fun? Bloodborne. I think is my second favorite after Dark Souls 1, but probably I think as like a cohesive package, it it may be the best of the whole series. The entire game is like about dreams and nightmares and humanity overreaching to try and gain eternal life and you having to basically clean up the messes of different factions that were trying in various ways to become gods. (laughs) Sorry. Let's pause I just, I just and take a that, look at this baby I love arm. That Julia's There's idea. a tiny arm. You said amalgamation of body parts, so Julia was like eyeballs and baby arms. Of course, <laughs> the two body parts that all people have. <laughs> all of two of them. <laughs> the little baby arm. This, no. Just split it's open. It's in a squat. No. <laughs> Just has normal pants and legs, <laughs> and is in a squat. <laughs> All right, kids, come over here. Let me let me tell you a story about why you shouldn't experiment and uh, try and uh, make yourself into uh, some sort of uh, eternal deity. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I love his capris. Yeah. Somewhere in capris. What is going? Are those? He's boots? wearing little boots. Oh, he's got little he's got booties. booties. Of course. Because he's a Victorian man. I see. This whole time I've been drawing, the only thing I've been thinking of is how excited I am to do the final color version of this to really get in there. Oh, God. With some deets. I don't want any deets. No. <laughs> I don't want yeah, any what, deets. Don't what, feel you have to yeah, do what, that. What color are you thinking it's going to no, be uh, inside the, the head there? Is it going to be sort of a fleshy? Purples. You know, purples? You know that, Reds what, and purples. that deepest black that is nearly invisible? That Vanta black. That Vanta black. Vanta black sounds like the bizarro version of Vanna, Vanna White. White. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, Jacob, is there anything else I should know about this guy? Uh, Does he have I'm any sure kind I of weapons that. or more backstory? You've got one part right, I think, um, accidentally. Oh, really? Which is that, Was despite the, the fact that it's an amalgamate of grotesque, misshapen body parts assembled to form one massive, unliving creature, it also has a singular, giant, humanoid torso attached. Yes! <laughs> yes! Attached to the entire mass, which controls the entire being. Come on! I have a, a nice visual for you guys. Okay. Which is that when you fight this boss, uh, the way he appears in the combat arena is that he falls through a portal created from the pale blood moon, and it resembles the process of being born. No. Oh, so he's like does the pale, goopy. Does the pale blood moon like have to do a bunch of heavy breathing? <laughs> yeah, and it just kind of squirts him out oh. onto the battlefield. Oh, yeah. They make him very wet. He is a newborn. <laughs> He just squirted out and then hunched over and said, well, now. <laughs> well, now, here I am. <laughs> here I am, I suppose. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Blood Moon. It's a one. <laughs> <laughs> the wet nurse comes out. Yeah. Do you need me? Oh, man. Oh, I'm so Julia. happy. Julia, I... I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. Remember when you were complaining that you'd have to go last? This is why. And look at what you've done now, <laughs> This is why. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> This is why we put you last. Before we because came in here, because no one can, no one can go after this. What, what even is? I Julia? looked at Julia's practice drawings before she came in, and uh-huh. it was like she was basically just practicing writhing, <laughs> like visualized, like the twisting of flesh. Oh. It was like fifteen layers worth of twisting flesh. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get ready for you. Uh, yeah, the, the picture. yeah, yeah. Get get that do picture we, ready. Do we even need the real picture? I, I think can, we got so it. So I can cut you off and then yeah. you can do add all the rest of your details later. It's, I'm never gonna stop. Okay. All right, Julia, are you about ready to take a little peekaboo at this? Oh. At this friend. Yeah, stop I guess. I guess that means I should stop. Gosh, he's really not that far off in a lot of ways. Really. Like, the posture is right. Really? Did I really get it? <laughs> yeah. The posture is kind of right. Kind of right. <laughs> I want to see. Yeah, I'm excited. Hold on. Right. Sorry. Let me fix this eyeball. Yeah, oh, fix it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's good. It was, uh, yeah, there, it needed good. to be fixed. Yeah, show, show this to me. All right, here you go, Julia. Oh. Yeah? So if you can make any sense of that. It's a lot of heads. It's like his bottom half is the messed up head. He is hunched over. Yeah. Like, kind of the same way. And he has, like, a squat... A squat with his back feet going. Yeah, less messed up things on its head and more messed up things on its chest. Yeah, I think its, its head is like one one normal torso that controls it, and its body is the amalgamation. Mm. He looks like a sack of spider eggs. Uh, well, guys, these are uh, these are your bloodborne bosses. Uh, stare at them in despair. <laughs> Let us know what other horrible monstrosities you'd like to see us draw based just on their names. Or if you have uh, other suggestions of stuff you want to see us draw, leave it in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you don't already. Follow us on various social media platforms. We got it all in the description. <laughs> I'm not going to go through them we all. We got all of them. We got them all. We got your Twitter. We got your Facebook. I just said I wasn't going to say them all, but I said a couple of we them. We got your Tumblrs. We, we got, got your Snaps. We, we got, got your, your Live your Journals. Your we got Twitch. your MySpaces. You guys got Instagram? We got that. Oh, nice. Do we? Yeah, yeah. we got that. We got that. Is, I don't know that we link to that, though. Well, we got it. Mm-hmm. Well, well We've got to go. Uh, I, I think I think we've learned from the mistakes of the past, and I think this time we're really gonna get this uh, this whole ascending to becoming a higher form of life, right? So yeah, we're gonna um, nail it. We've got some experiments to go do. Uh, this has been Drawfee. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>